So a really easy way to price check really quickly using ZDrop, and this actually is also something that I want to touch on really briefly in this lecture, and that's that ZDrop not only keeps track of the prices, but it also can help keep track of your inventory, right? So in the past tutorials, if we go into like my dropshipping folder where I used to kind of keep track of these, you'll see like I have numbers and these are specific numbers to URLs where I buy products. This is how I keep track of the suppliers, the specific products. So I know if somebody orders it, um, you know, on Facebook Marketplace or Poshmark or anywhere, I go in and I buy uh, or I buy, I go in and I know that that's the specific number if it's at the bottom of the description. With Facebook Marketplace specifically, I used to do that, but specifically with Facebook Marketplace and ZDrop, you don't have to do that if you're using ZDrop, okay? So it not only keeps track of your inventory for you, but it also keeps track of your prices. So if I click into ZDrop really fast, you'll see that it keeps track of the inventory that I've listed, right? And it also keeps track of the price, right? So you'll see where, it's, where I actually listed it from, the price that I actually listed it from, and then you'll also notice that if you if you click the picture, it's an actual clickable link that takes you to that URL, right? So I can go here and purchase this specific thing right here, and I know exactly where it is. So that means that you no longer have to specifically go in and keep track of all your inventory and go back, uh, you know, through it and check the prices constantly the same way. You can instead use ZDrop to keep track of your inventory because if somebody comes in, for example, they purchase the heavy duty golf net and don't change your titles too, too much. You can kind of alter them slightly, but keep the main keywords, the main keywords so you can search them later. So for example, instead of, you know, going in heavy duty golf net, 10 by seven, perfect, whatever. If somebody purchases this from Facebook Marketplace, I can go into ZDrop. I can go to advanced search right here and I can just come in for the title and go heavy duty and I can search more if I wanted to, but I, if I just search heavy duty, it's probably gonna pop up and I'll click enter or filter, excuse me, and bam, heavy duty right there, 89.99 on Amazon and I can go click the picture and go ahead and buy it, okay? And so that's how you can keep track of inventory very, very easy using ZDrop. It's a game changer, but it not just keeps, it doesn't just keep track of your inventory. It also keeps track of your prices. So for example, like this one says $219.99. Is it still $219.99? It is, okay? And so that's how you can keep track of your prices very, very uh, easily and kind of check them very, very quickly. Uh, another way is to kind of delete old and stale listings that like aren't really getting any traction and, and anything, you know, going really, because then it's easier to keep track of the listings that are. So that's another little tip. But those are two tips to keep track of your prices as well as your inventory. So I really hope that it helps.